x minus 1, we multiply 1, and we have x minus 1. The next step is, we cannot just cancel this. What we do is, by taking this one to the left hand side, we have x keep bracket x minus 1 minus bracket x minus 1 equals 0. So we have x minus 1 common. We take it out and here is x minus 1 bracket. So here we are left with x is to power 3. So here we are left with minus 1 equals 0. So let's say we have this one raised to the power of 3 as well. And considering this identity a cube minus b cube, which is the difference of the two square, this is equal to a minus b bracket, open bracket, a square plus a b plus b square. So by relating it with this, we have this as x cube minus 1 cube equals x minus 1 bracket, other bracket, x square plus x plus 1 square. And 1 square is still 1, all bracket. So by replacing this in this, we have x minus 1, open bracket, x minus 1, other bracket, x square plus x plus 1 equals 0. So here we have x minus 1 equals 0. We have x minus 1 as well equals 0. And we are going to let this as x square plus x plus 1 equals 0. So for the first one, we have x minus 1 equals 0. For the second one, we have x minus 1 equals 0. While the third one is x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. And looking at these two, we have x equals 1. And this also x equals 1. So that is, we can combine this as x equals to 1 twice. And indeed, looking at this equation, uh, the solution that we just got, it does not satisfy the problem because when we try to substitute it in this, we're going to have an undefined uh, solution. So therefore, at x equals minus 1, we are going to reject this. And we work on uh, x squared plus x plus 1 to get the solution to this. So we have x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. So you can apply quadratic formula to solve this. So since you cannot factorize this, or we can apply the com completing the square method to solve this. So let's apply the quadratic formula. So at this we have a equals 1, b equals 1, and c equals 1. So we try to put them in this formula, which is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. And here we have x equals b is 1. We have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of. So b is still 1 square minus 4. A is 1, which is dot 1, dot, and C is also 1, all divided by 2, dot 1. So S equals minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square is 1, and 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1, that is also 4, all divided by 2. So here is X equals minus 1 plus or minus the square root of so 1 minus 4, that is minus 3, divided by 2. So here we have x equals minus a, minus 1 plus or minus, 
the square root of we can separate this as three multiplied by minus one divided by two and again we have x equals minus one plus or minus let's separate this with root we have root three dot root of minus one divided by two again we have x equals minus one plus or minus so the square root of minus one is i then multiply by root three divided by two so for this reason we have x equals let's separate this we have minus one plus i root three divided by two or we can say up x equals minus one minus i root three divided by two and which these are the solutions to this problem so complex root which is satisfy this equation in a complex space so this is how to do this thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more exciting videos like this i will see you in the next class never stop learning bye bye